I've I've read your whole website. I, I feel like now I'm an I'm an I won't say I'm a thermal spray expert, but I'm a thermal spray guy expert. Uh, I, I've learned a lot. <laughs> I learned a lot about you now here. And you currently hold the the patent for the the pivot arc spray system. Now, is that something That's, that will help what you've just described as one of the biggest problems going in going in the future? Exactly, Justin. You you nailed it. So this was about four years ago. We sold equipment to a company that was spraying uh, large um, girders. Uh, I want to say I-beams. I learned this thing. There's the difference between an I-beam and a girder. An I-beam is something that's rolled in a rolling mill. A girder is welded together. Well, you take the flanges and the web and they weld it together. Then it's, then it's a girder. But the Department of Transportations for various states are now specifying that they want zinc thermal sprayed on these large girders. These girders are so large, they won't fit in a uh, galvanizing tank. They're, they're 120 foot long, 10, 12 foot tall. And, uh, and they're very big, so they, they can't put them in a, in a tank. So what they have to do up to this point, they're hand spraying them. So it was at this facility, we saw these guys, four arc units. It was actually five arc units. And there was five guys in this room spraying this large I-beam. And they're like within two feet of each other. And they've got these thermal spray torches in their hand. And they're spraying molten metal and just all this dust, dirt, and people. And I looked at it, there's got to be a better way. So we worked on this pet now for about five years, four or five years, where we can take a arc gun and we just pivot the front end of it. So we can pivot the arc itself. We pivot the wire guides that guide the wire to the arc and the compressed air. Now, that may not make a lot of whole sense to you, but basically we can pivot the front half of the gun, the first, the front maybe third of the gun. And the reason that's so important is with these arc machines, they've got large cables and those cables are not very pliable. So with the pivot arc, we're able to follow the I-beam right around with it. We integrate it with a robot, so it becomes a seventh axis of a robot. And we can very precisely position this thing all around the I-beam and follow the I-beam right around and do a continuous spray, maintaining the proper spray angles, spray distances, and spray speeds continuously over the whole, over the whole girder. To put it in perspective, it takes about five guys eight hours to spray a 120-foot long beam. And the reason it has to be done in eight hours is there's a requirement by the Department of Transportation people that these girders and I-beams have to be sprayed within eight hours of being grip blast because there's a rusting problem. So with, with two of our pivot arc machines and two robots, we can spray the equivalent of what five or six guys the five or six guys will do in eight hours, we can do it in about six hours. One operator is in a room controlling these two robots. Now, obviously, the robots are pre-programmed. He's really right. monitoring to make sure everything works correctly. And the way we do the programming is it's, it's really pretty slick is there's engineering drawings for these girders that they manufacture them to. So they have very specific dimensions and angles and all these these girders and we're able to take that program that cad program and we can import it into the robotic program and it knows exactly what the dimensions are of this, this girder so we have a datum point where we start and the thermal spray system then can spray the entire girder following that cad program if you'd like to have any more information about the thermal spray or want clarity on the thermal spray or our patented technology in the pivot arc Give us a call at 724-229-5791 or email me at bob at thermalspraydepot.com.